Welcome to Worship Tutorials Guitars Edition. In this video, we're going to be talking about these Jennings Catalina guitars. You have seen Jennings guitars here on the channel. Why don't I get one that you have seen? You've seen this Voyager quite a bit. I have had this guitar for uh, quite some time. Look, these guys, like they're like brothers, right? <laughs> they kind of match. I've had this guitar for a while. This is Chad Jennings solid body offset jazz master style guitar. So Chad has the Voyager and the Voyager Deluxe. The Voyager Deluxe being like a thin line version of this guitar. Uh, it's got a, you know, like a, a F hole, if you will, on the side. But then there's the Catalina, which is a little bit different. So the Catalina is more like a, uh, you could almost think of it like a, a 335 meets a jazz master. It's a bolt on neck, so it's not a set neck. Uh, situation, but it is like a hollow, well it's not hollow body, it's hollow on either side with a center block down the middle. So I'm going to take each of these guitars and sort of walk through, they're both the same, they're both Catalinas, but they're, as you can tell, a bit different. I'm going to take each of these guitars and walk through them, let you hear how they sound, and talk about what you can get from Jennings Guitars if you're looking for something like this, which you should be, because they're awesome. <laughs> So let's take this one first. And first let's talk about just what you get with a Catalina uh, in general. Like all you can get a bunch of different options with the Catalina, but they're all kind of the same in certain ways. And that is they are chambered on either side with a center block down the middle. That's kind of the construction that you're gonna see from like a, uh, like a 335, for example. A lot of Gretsch guitars will do that where there's a center block and then the, the, the sides of the, the guitar are hollow. Uh, if you look into these F holes, you know, you can see all the way up and down if you want to, which makes these things really light and really resonant. Like I said earlier, it is a bolt on neck construction. So in that regard, it kind of retains like the, uh, the jazz master type of a, of, a, of a construction of feel and the body shape. Of course, it's a little bit smaller than a, uh, than a Fender jazz master. Uh, but it, it just feels really good. These have a, uh, a tummy cut, a belly cut, which makes them super comfortable. It just really fits, especially for a guitar that's like a semi-hollow, really fits nice and just feels really comfortable when you hold it and when you play it. So these guitars have a 25 and a half inch scale length. That's going to be like your Fender scale length. So if you're used to playing Fender style guitars, Strats, Tellys, Jazz Masters, that kind of thing. The scale length is going to feel familiar to you, which actually makes a big difference when it comes to feel and the way a guitar plays. It's why, you know, a Fender guitar feels so much different than a Gibson guitar or a PRS guitar for that example, which sits kind of in the middle. This particular uh, Catalina has a 12 inch radius fretboard. Uh, medium C uh, neck. It's a mahogany body, a green dog hair finish, which is super cool. Stop tail version on this one. A lot of the Jennings guitars, as you might have noticed, feature like a Bigsby tailpiece, or uh, he'll make them with a mastery as well, just really depending on what you want. Chad will, uh, he's kind of a one-man custom shop, so if there is a guitar that you want and you can think up, he can basically build it for you. Uh, for really a fraction of the price as what you get with, uh, you know, like a custom shop offering. <laughs>
This guitar features the McNelly Sparkle Tron pickups. These are McNelly's version of like a filter Tron. Um, and the name really rings true. So I have a Gretsch uh, Jet, a pro, you know, a Proline Jet from Gretsch with the Gretsch uh, filter Tron pickups in them. These sound quite a bit different and way more sparkly. So they're a lot lower output. What I found is um, with these pickups, uh, the way that I would typically set up my, my stuff for a single coil pickup guitar, these work really well as far as the, the output level and how how bright they are. They're really like single coils, although they are humbuckers, which is nice because they're quieter than single coils. Uh, I actually found these are a bit lower output even than like a standard output Telecaster pickup. So in my experience, all I do really is uh, just crank up the output of the compressor when I use this guitar to send a little more level to the amp and it, and it sounds just right. And these things have a great growl to them, but tons of chime and sparkle and clarity. Hopefully that'll come through in this demo that I'm doing when you hear the sound clips of this guitar. So this one features Spurzel open back tuners. Uh, I really like the way these tuners look and function. They, uh, they feel great, they look cool. They stay in tune, which is important. And uh, it's just a three-way switch, volume and tone on this Catalina. Uh, you might think this is the White Falcon of Jennings guitars. It kind of looks that way. It's got that aesthetic going on. Really, really beautiful looking instrument. A lot of similarities with the uh, with the green dog hair finish one. It's got binding, and he went with a uh, you know he went with more of a cream binding, which I think looks really good on this guitar. Really sits well with the gold, all the gold hardware, the gold pick guard. Uh, which this is a clear pit guard that's painted gold on the back. So it's kind of a three-dimensional look and the Catalina logo. It's the same for that. It's the same for all three of these Jennings guitars, actually. Um, it kind of gives you this three-dimensional look to it, which is really unique. Um, Shelton does that with his guitars, too. I really like it. Binding up and down the neck, just like the other one. Uh, this one features Cluson tuners, which is a bit, which are a bit different. This one has a Bigsby uh, tremolo system on it, and Chad's guitars with Bigsby's actually stay in tune. In fact, I had basically written off Bigsby guitars uh, for life before I played some of these Jennings guitars that uh, Chad has sent to us. Um, I've had guitars with Bigsby's in the past, and my experience with them is that they never stay in tune. And I've sort of learned that uh, along the way with Bigsby's, it's all about um, the setup and it's all about the physics. And so a lot of it has to do with this break angle of the strings right here. Um, a lot of it has to do with the spring on the Bigsby and sort of how it, it sits. And uh, the bridge, of course, is very important. The nut is very important, and the tuner is, again, very important. This thing stays in tune really well. Of course, if you dive bomb on a Bigsby, um, it's going to go out of tune a little bit. They're not really built to do that. But Chad does a really good job with uh, setting up Bigsby guitars and getting them to play well and stay in tune.
guitar differs from the green dog hair finish uh, guitar in a number of ways. Uh, first of all, this one has an ebony board on it, which feels feels nice. It's very luxurious. Ebony is a very luxurious feeling. That's the word I'm, I'm going for. Silky and smooth feeling fretboard wood. It just feels nice under your fingers. It's almost kind of in between like a rosewood board and maybe a, a finished maple board. Um, it's kind of like the best of both worlds in my opinion. This one has an alder body on it where the other one is mahogany. This one has a uh, McNelly uh, a stagger swagger pickups, which are McNelly's sort of lower output, really high clarity humbucker. Uh, again, you're going to hear these in the demos compared to the Sparkletrons. This one has a satin finish, so um, you don't see any reflections off of it, right? And so it's got like this really smooth satin matte type of a finish. The whole body has it and the neck does as well. And this, to me, I believe this is a roasted maple neck with an ebony board. Um, roasted, this, Chad's roasted maple necks, this one has it too, uh, just feel really, really good. Uh, this one has a little bit different finish than the Voyager has on the roasted maple. This one has more of a satin finish. That one has more of a gloss finish, but even that gloss finish on the back feels really smooth. Um, and these guitars too, with the binding, the way he does the uh, the the neck with the binding, it's almost a, the the fretboard feels a little bit wider. He actually told me that it's not really wider. It's just the binding has more of a sharper edge. It's still rounded. Uh, it still feels very comfortable. It's not sharp at all. But you end up with just a little bit more like feeling of real estate on the board versus the unbound neck. Uh, so it's two different feels that you could go for if you were specking out or looking at a Jennings guitar uh, and you know for the way the neck feels. Again a three-way switch, volume and tone as well. This thing just sounds awesome. <laughs> got to hear what these guitars sound like, a little bit about the specs that you can get from each of them. I just want to talk about Jennings guitars in general. Uh, between Bradford and I, we have played probably five or six different Jennings guitars. One thing that is true about all of them is they are all super consistent and they feel as good as any guitar that I've put my hands on. They are essentially a custom shop guitar made by Chad, one guy in his shop in California. Um, just extreme attention to detail. Uh, and we've actually got to meet Chad and hang out with him, and he is such a good guy. Chad, if you're watching this, I miss you. I can't wait to see you again soon once you know COVID-19 and all this mess is over. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get together and hang out soon. But Chad is, is an awesome guy, uh, loves the praise and worship and church community. And in fact, that's his heart behind these guitars is he wants to build guitars that are used, uh, you know, to worship Jesus. And that's, that's his heart behind it. We love that about Chad. The Jennings guitars also sort of have their own feel. Every guitar that you play uh, has, at least to me, sort of every, every brand of guitar, especially when you get to the higher end stuff that they make, they all sort of have their own feel. Like Gretsch, the, you know, the, the higher end Gretsch stuff all feels a certain way. The, uh, the higher end, uh, you know, Fender stuff kind of has a certain feel. I don't have as much experience with Gibson guitars, but, you know, the, the Shelton guitars, they all have a certain vibe. Uh, same with, uh, you know, with Elliott guitars. And Jennings is right up there in that category. They all have their, it has its own feel and vibe, and it's, and it's really good. You know, I wouldn't, it, when, if you would ask to say, how does, you know, what's better, this or that, they're all kind of different, but I will say, and uh, Brad and I have talked about this a lot, that these Jennings guitars sit up there with the best of the best that we have. Sir, Shelton, Elliot, all the, you know, these, the high-end Gretsch stuff that we have. They all are, are just like sort of on an even playing field, but they all have their own thing, their own sound, their own feel, their own vibe. And I go on and on and talk about these things, about feel and the experience of playing it, because I know that it's difficult to find one of these to play because Chad kind of builds them to order. 
uh, which is a double-edged sword because it you can't get your hands on one to play it, but if you want one, you can email Chad directly and he will build like whatever you want. Uh, and he has multiple different styles. So we've got these, you know, three different kind of takes on this offset style. And then he has the Navigator, which is a Tele style guitar. And then he sort of, he and Brad kind of came up with this design of a Navigator Deluxe. So the Navigator Deluxe, maybe I'll show you a picture of Brad's while we're doing it, has this pick guard. And uh, Brad's has two uh, Lambertone Crema pickups in it. So he can, you know, do different pickups, whatever, whatever you kind of want, he can make it happen. Um, and with a Bigsby and a Tele, and it's it's a really, really cool guitar. And I know a lot of people have, have really loved that guitar. A few people have bought the Bradford Mitchell Special. I think he calls it the Navigator Custom or something like that. But um, yeah, the, just the product offering from Chad is really cool. Uh, really great guy and the fact that he can build you whatever you want sort of spec it out to what what fits you the best is an awesome bonus <laughs> So hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me in this video, talking about listening to Jennings Catalina guitars. Links below to get in touch with Jennings if you wanna get one going for yourself or see if he has any in stock at the moment that sort of fit the bill, what you are looking for. Love these guitars, love Chad, awesome guy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uploading new videos all the time. See you in the next one, bye.